Hello, so we're back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. I can open the laptop to show you has a uh, has something here. Let's check the customer email. So the customer is saying, Hi, my laptop broke. The service said the problem is with the motherboard. They offered to buy a used one. I uh, don't agree. Can you identify the problem and estimate the cost of the repair? Asus ZenBook Flip S. It's quite a good one, you know, 11 uh, i7, 11 gen uh, CPU. Okay, so uh, we know already someone checked the laptop. Let's see what we have here. Oh, here are only the screws. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, it is a nice laptop. Good, let's have a look inside. Let's try to open. Yeah, no screws here. And the laptop is open. And we do have a nice motherboard, but no battery inside. Not sure if this laptop it will work without the battery. I mean, check here. You have a you have coils and you have a bunch of MOSFETs. Most likely, uh, this laptop has uh, a dedicated main power L power supply. Good. Let's check the main uh, power rail. Let's see if it's not shorted. Then we can test with the charger. So the main power rail is on uh, these capacitors here. And it's not short, so we have no short on the motherboard. Let's plug a charger, USB-C. So plug in the charger, and the meter it is coming on. Check there. It's negotiating the voltage. We have charging light. We have 1.2 amps because the laptop just started. And it's working. I don't understand. That's crazy. Why the people are sending me good things? Huh? I mean, the laptop is working fine. The keyboard is not working. Wait, the keyboard, I'm not sure if it's... Why the laptop is frozen? I mean, nothing is working, the keyboard. So basically the laptop is just frozen. Let's unplug the keyboard. Nothing. The touchpad is not working. Hmm? Okay, fine. Let me plug my hard drive. It is possible to be like a Windows issue or something. Uh, I'll plug back the keyboard. I mean, why a laptop it will uh, freeze like that? Now, you can't have like the touchpad and the keyboard not working. So the keyboard is disconnected. Let's check the voltage on the touchpad. So that's the touchpad connector. And the touchpad has, has 3.3, 3.3, five volts, low. So every voltage is present, yeah? We have a touchpad chip here, we have a resistor here, and we have 3.3. So the chip has power. Yeah, 3.3. So what we can do in this case? I mean, the only reason why this it will not work is just because it's not speaking with the, with the chipset. 
3.3 5 volts here right here somewhere 3 here we have 5 volts Okay, this sucks. I mean, yeah, it's not working. Let's plug again the keyboard. Must be something wrong with the motherboard. Yeah, probably. I'm assuming this is the touchpad. Let's take this connector out. Good. One more time. And the touchpad is working. Check that. And the keyboard. And the keyboard is working fine, huh? So what we did, we disconnect the we disconnect this board. That's all what we did. Can be a faulty touch screen? Can be. Good. Let's connect back this one. Mm -hmm. So something is freezing the, the chipset. No, it's not working. Check here. It's not working. No, no, no. No, the system is frozen. Uh, good. Let's remove the touch screen. Now, you know what? Oh, no, the button it is where it's clicking. The button is, I was thinking the button is stuck. And it's working fine. Hmm? I mean, I don't understand. There's no point buying another laptop just because the touch screen is faulty. I can't see the, the point. You just disconnect the touch screen and use it like a normal laptop. I mean, this screen is mad expensive. I mean, it's not worth to replace the screen just because the touch screen is not working. It's not even point trying to open the screen to check if there's something wrong inside. Can be something else. Let's check the connector. The connector is fine. I can't see liquid damage or anything else. This board, we can check this board if we have like voltage and stuff. Yeah, we can check that. So the power is plugged. And what do we have here? Here it's a big truck and we have 5 volts. Here it's a big truck and we have 3.3. I mean, everything seems to be fine. And here we have 3.2. Everything is good. I mean, it can be like a faulty webcam or a faulty touch screen or... Or I don't know. But in any case, yeah, this laptop is not worth to have like a, a replace uh, screen just because of the touch screen. No way. No. It's mad, actually. It's a 4K screen. 4K touch screen. Let's plug the customer hard drive. So the customer hard drive is plugged in. Let's see if it's working like, you know, like fully working. Then the laptop needs only the battery if it's fully working. Yeah, no touch screen and no uh, webcam, but that's fine. And everything is working fine. Check here the mouse pad and the keyboard. Yeah. Everything is working fine. Pin, yeah. 
Okay, this was a weird one, I swear. I mean, the lot was on a computer shop. Uh, the lot was on a computer shop. Why the battery is missing? Why they, did, they didn't disconnect the, the touchpad? And, you know, for me, from my point of view, uh, if I was in the shop, or even here, don't get me wrong, we I fix it. Yeah, I disconnect the touchpad, now the lot is fully working. So uh, they could they could fix it from before. Yeah, this this was a weird one, and I have nothing not, nothing what I can do. I mean, I will not replace the screen. I will not even suggest the screen has to be replaced. Uh, it's up to the customer if you want to buy a battery and use it with the battery or without the battery. It's up to the customer. Yeah, I'm gonna stop here. I will say thank you for watching and see you on the next one. Yeah, just keep in mind how you identify. The things on a, on, a, on a frozen system like this to start disconnecting uh, peripherals yeah bye